Mike, it's a, well, it's a, it's been a pretty good season here so far. I'll have to skip. How are you feeling personally so far? Uh, I know I feel pretty good. Um, being healthy is obviously a good thing, and right now, knock on wood, uh, I feel pretty healthy, and um, our team's pretty healthy too. So, um, yeah, we've been uh, pretty good down the stretch here, I think. Has the season kind of gone the way you'd expect it? Because I, I imagine there was a little different feeling in the off season, knowing you, you were going to get the chance here. They go out and they sign a veteran like Joey McDonald. Uh, maybe you didn't. I, I'm going to just I'm going to put words in your mouth here, maybe. But did you did you have a good idea of what kind of opportunity was ahead of you? Uh, no, you never really do. Uh, this whole summer, the team still had Peter Budai, and you know there was a there was depth chart concerns for me. But um, you know I don't. I'm not paid to, you know, really look at uh, personnel uh, movement, so I just worried about stopping the puck, and um, you know, good things will happen when you just take care of what you can control. But uh, yeah, it's 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 gone well. I mean, you never really know what to expect. You just try to have an open mind and, and work hard, and things will fall out where they may. Yeah, so, so not really concerned at all in the off season of, of you know having to spend another year in Wheeling or uh, what no, their plans were. No, it's 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 in the back of your mind, yeah. but um, you know, that's something that's out of my control. And when you start worrying about stuff like that, then um, you know, kind of gets your mind off your game. So. Um, yeah, I was just worried about working out hard and, and, and training hard and, you know, let the pucks fall where they may. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask about how the pucks fall yeah. and, and your play then, because I'm going to give you my evaluation of your game at the beginning of the season. I, I, I thought positionally you were doing great. You're having a little bit of trouble controlling rebounds. That Was that a fair assumption? Because I would say that now you, you, you've kind of evaporated that problem. Yeah, it was just, um, you know, it's always, it's always tough uh, when you're adjusting to not only a new league, but... Um, you know, just a new year, trying to find your 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 movement in in games, getting in game shape. Um, no, I would agree with you that my rebounds uh, were were bad, and I think sometimes they kind of couple games come to mind where they the Adirondack game where we lost four three. Um, you know, I let a couple um, bad goals in because of rebounds, and um, but I think now uh, the game is slowing down. Um, it's it's getting a little bit easier for me and. Just working with Vinny, uh, uh, Vinny, Vincent Riendo every day, and Marco Marciano, the goalie guys, uh, have really helped me um, just bear down on my rebound control, and that's been a big part of it. But yeah, I'd have to agree with you, the rebounds were a little suspect. Uh, okay, so you, it was actually something you guys sat down in the video room, looked after, and yeah. on the ice kind of worked on. So what was what was the trick for you then? Was it just focus, or, or was there a, a fundamental piece that was missing? Um, you know, it, you got to freeze the puck at this level. You know, you can't give them two chances at it, because um, the plays happen so fast. Um, just getting my stick on pucks, getting sticks, uh, getting pucks up into the, the netting. Um, that's That was a big thing, and um, you know, just relaxing. You come into a new team, um, new league. Uh, you, you have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of lot of energy, and you t- might be gripping your stick a little too hard, and um, that can that can lead to some bad things. But just try to relax. It's been the biggest thing, fixing it and breathing and yeah. just having fun. And <laughs> <laughs> so you're having fun then? Oh yeah, having a blast. Play. <laughs> Playing hockey, okay, not be fun. <laughs> okay, so yeah. okay, all right, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. It's got to be fun every yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, you, you talk about trying to, you know, kind of understand where the guys are coming from uh, out there on the ice in front of you defensively, the, getting to know the scheme. That's one thing. Yeah. You, you hear from NHL guys, you know, kind of getting to know the shooters. Mm-hmm. Is, is that a reality in the American League, or is, is it just kind of you have to kind of start to learn some other different nuances that can transcend guy to guy and not necessarily know the individual player coming down on you? Um, you know, guys guys uh, know each other pretty well. Forwards do. So I'll ask, um, you know, like for example, TJ played in Lake Erie for a long time, and he knew a bunch, he knew he knows a lot of guys. So I'll ask him, you know, you play with this guy. What what's he like to do? And and you know, he'll tell me like, you know, he's he's gloved all the time, ready. He goes glove high. You know, watch the glove. He's a shooter. Like we yeah. have we have our own scouting reports, but you you kind of tend to figure out when you play. You know, the Toronto Marlies. How many times have we played <laughs> them? Uh, you get certainly familiar with guys' skill sets and. Um, you you are sharper when you know a guy like uh, DJ Brennan's on the ice when you play Rockford. You know yeah. he's going to shoot it hard. So um, no, you, you, do, you do your preparation, but yeah. You, you mentioned playing the Marley so many times. Does that it, it, does that make you calmer going into the nets in a game uh, against a team that you see so often, or does it really bring any different anything different from a game against a team like Rockford? Um, no, it's just the same preparation. Um, I think you know a little bit more what they're going to try and do. Um, you're a little bit more familiar with their power play, with their four check as a goalie, knowing where they're going to come. Um, you know, I remember last year in Wheeling we would play a team like Elmira five times in a row. <laughs> so it's, uh, we don't play them that often. But, um, yeah, you know, the, the familiar, familiarity certainly helps. But, uh, you know, playing new, fresh teams is kind of fun too. 
Let's talk about the stint down in the ECHL last year. You, you put up some amazing numbers. And I think uh, I think some people kind of look at the coast as just kind of a, a, a brush it off and they just go, well, whatever, it, it, it's the ECHL. But it seems, especially in the last, I don't know, five or six years, it, it's become a really important point uh, place anyway for, for goaltenders especially because most of the time if a guy's going to be in the American League and he's going to be the second string, he, he might not get a whole lot of minutes. So he, the guys will get sent down to the East Coast League and, and just kind of rack up the playing time. How beneficial was it? last year in Wheeling? Uh, that, was the, that was the best thing for me. Um, to, to first year pro, just go down there and play. And um, you know, I had the opportunity to play a lot of games. I think I played uh, 39 regular season games. And for a guy like me who went to college, didn't play junior, and never and went to high school where we don't play that many games, yeah. uh, you know, 30 games a season is what we would play. So um, having to handle a 76-game season down there and, and carrying a lot of the load was um, something that was really beneficial to me. And just let my body know what it takes and the preparation that you need and um, just the consistency. You got to be consistent if you want to, if you want to be successful at this game and um, 76 games is a long time. <laughs> so uh, it was, it was great down there. I, I loved it. It was great people, great organization, um, great teammates. Um, loved my time in Wheeling. And I think it was, it was very beneficial to me to get all those minutes. Fair to say the hockey down there is better than people give it credit for. Yeah, um, pe- people think the East Coast League is just, is just like a you know, like a beer league or whatever. You know, a lot of guys make fun of it in college, and they think it's easy to get to, but um, it's it's not. I mean, it's 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 a tough league. Um, it's, it's it's like I said, it's a long year. Um, there's only three lines on the ice, so guys are guys are working pretty hard. And as a goalie, it's a really tough league to play in because you get a lot of you see a lot of uh, good scoring chances. <laughs> um, but that's what you want at that level, right? You want to get the breakaways. Yeah. You want to get the the five on threes where you can really work on stuff and get used to it. So, uh, yeah, we were lucky to have a, have a really good team last year. So, was, so theoretically, it's easy out here on on the AHL surface. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't say easier, guys. Uh, you, you give guys an inch out here, they'll take a, take a mile. Um, but guys are definitely. Um, more organized and more prepared than um than down there but that's just that's just the way it goes from triple a to double a hockey yeah every kind of step along the way it's yeah. another notch right yeah. yeah so so let's talk about that next notch for you then what is it that's that that, that you see anyway is standing in your way from, from making that next step uh i don't think anything is, is necessarily standing in my way <laughs> you know Fair. i wouldn't like to look like, like it look like it, look at it like that um I just I try not to think too much. You you start you start going on Twitter and you start going on the internet and reading everything. You can get, you can go crazy and yeah. um, you know it's a, it's a simple game. Joey reminds me it's a simple job every day. STP stop the puck. That's all you gotta do. So um, I just tell myself that every day. STP don't worry about anything else and um, yeah, just try to keep it simple. You know, yeah. have fun, relax because you start thinking about that stuff. You're gonna start getting tight and jittery and just a couple deep breaths, go out, have fun and just be where you're at how, how beneficial has joey been then in the in the grand scheme of thing if, if he's kind of you know helped you kind of find that common point uh, obviously a guy who's been around for as long as he is yeah. he's you know the oldest guy on the hockey or wait is brian maybe maybe alan's now a little I, bit older than yeah. him. i'm not totally sure I'm he's, not sure he's one, they're only two guys on the team that are older than i am now so that's yeah. all that's where i know but it, what else have you learned from him or, or has it just kind of been just a, a regular feeling of of calmness kind of thing yeah you know i i've been very fortunate in my career to have had great goalie partners uh, i've never had a bad one but joey so far has has been uh he's been awesome he's not only is he a really really funny guy with a lot of great stories but um you know he's just he's 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 been around a while and he knows the game and he's been through everything and he can really give you that advice that no other person other than maybe vincent riendo who's, yeah. who's, who's played and been there as a goal as a pro goalie for i don't know 14 years he has been um there's just so much uh, information and knowledge and experiences that he can. He's she's told me about and helped me with, and um, yeah, he's 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 awesome. Very it, lucky to have him. It kind of seems like a, a, as an organization, Montreal top to bottom has kind of made sure that they've brought enough guys uh, w- w- with goalie specific knowledge to come in and help you out, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. I th- I think uh, you know we got we had some good goaltending depth in the, in the organization. <laughs> Just a bit. You know, it's a it's a good problem to have, and it's it's good for all of us who are competing against each other. Um, but yeah, just the goal. The, I'm I'm very fortunate here to have um, you know two guys that work with me every day who who know the game inside and out and can help me and can work with me and and Joey as well. So um, you know, I think that's definitely showing. In the college world, did you have a guy with you every day or? Uh, my first two years, I did not. My second two years, I was fortunate enough to have uh, Greg Gardner. Um, okay. 
yeah, he had a he played pro for a little while and uh, actually a long time over in, in Europe, and he came in and re he really helped me working with me. And I owe a lot of my uh, my success to him, so it was good having him for two years. And those college years uh, still look back pretty fondly on him. Yeah, I mean, I've only been gone out of there for maybe two years now. I graduated <laughs> in 2013, and it feels like uh, you know eons ago. But um, yeah, <laughs> very very fun college memories. Love love that place. But but except for when Dan brings it up, right? It seems like he's the only. Yeah, one I know. The yeah, Dan Dan tries to start stuff. <laughs> um, you know, I could I could say a few things to Dan. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm be the bigger man here. You're being too away. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, I have a couple of chirps for him, but uh, I don't, I don't want to cut him too deep, you know. We'll leave him alone yeah. for now. Mike, it, it's a good chat. I appreciate you stopping by and having a conversation, and uh, best of luck along the way here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.